In life, we do our best to prepare for any possible roadblocks on our way to accomplishing goals, but some situations you just can't prepare for. Redondo Union High boys basketball star Rice Williams had a bright future ahead of him. The 2017 Bay League Most Valuable Player was headed to LMU for his freshman season until a rare and aggressive form of cancer took his life one day before his graduation. Here's Sammy O'Brien with more on the story. I named my son Rise. I wanted him to be able to rise above um, his circumstances, make something of, of himself. And when you met with adversity, rise above it. And uh, as a young African-American male, I knew he was going to be met with some adversity along the way. I didn't know it would be this. He just loved people. He loved, he, 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 was, a, he was a good kid in that yeah. way, in that regard. He, he made you feel like you were part of the, the group. And the type of player he was on the court? Oh, he was very calm. Even at four or five years old, Rise's nickname was Cool Breeze. He was just he's a very calm demeanor, um, which allowed him, he made a lot of big shots. The Redondo Union shooting guard was even headed to nearby LMU on scholarship in the fall. He's approachable. He was a safe person. Uh, he was empathetic, uh, religious-based. Uh, he was reared that way. And for him, that opened his heart up. So he was really approachable for a guy who had star status. In May 2017, just a month and a half before his high school graduation, Rise started to feel ill. It started off with Rise having um, blood in his urine. And so he came to me and said, Mom, there's blood in my urine. I said, Rise, how long has it been like that? He said, it's been like a few weeks. And then he was having back pain. And so we took him into the doctor to see his pediatrician. In the blink of an eye, it was June, and still no diagnosis. Rise was admitted to Little Company of Mary, where he spent his senior prom in his hospital bed with his girlfriend by his side and the boutonniere she surprised him with. Doctors continued to evaluate. And the, the gentleman called us on the phone, and he says, I'm sorry to tell you, but this is a malignancy. Your son has cancer. And so... Okay, so then he has cancer, so then a cancer specialist came in a couple of days later, and it was a, one of these things, wait, bad news, wait longer, wait, worse news. One week later, at Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, the diagnosis was in. Rise had renal medullary carcinoma, a rare form of kidney cancer which affects predominantly young African Americans carrying the sickle cell trait. There had only been about 129 diagnosed cases in each case the person died quickly because by the time it's discovered it's ravaged your body as it did in our case. It had metastasized and it was stage four and they told us there was nothing they can do to you know there was no cure there was nothing they can do. He just wasn't getting better and on Tuesday the oncologist finally has some answers for us and we go into the room She's, she sits. This is terminal disease. Doesn't respond to normal treatment. Um, he's not gonna leave. He was using the restroom and Rise took his mask off and said, I feel dizzy. And what had happened, his heart stopped. So. I believe maybe 30 minutes later, it happened again. They say it's happening again, and I just said, let my son go. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 let my son go. On Thursday, June 22nd, Rise Williams' fight ended the day before his high school graduation. LMU has decided to hold Rise's spot in the locker room, graduate him in four years from the university, and retire the number he would have worn in the rafters forever. How does that help? At first it was kind of just like an unspoken thing, but I think now it's kind of, you know, understood within everybody that that's his space, that'll be his space for the entire time that he would have been here. So I think it's a really cool thing that's, you know, turned into something. The locker room is always, his locker's there, his number is going to be there forever. And I like that uh, he's going to have his jersey and everything hung up. And actually I got a tattoo for him. Yeah, so that he can always be remembered and because uh, he really had a, really just a great guy and everything and he's just, he just, 
took, took them away too soon. Not everybody will know Rise's story, and we relish the fact that we can say, hey, this is how you want to act, this is how you want to be. What better way to highlight his legacy? To further his legacy, the Williams family started the Rise Williams Charitable Foundation to promote amateur athletes, raise RMC awareness, and to remember their son. Maybe Rise passing away of this rare cancer when he was so strong and had so much going for him and there was so much love and he was a happy young man and my son did not know he was gonna die. All he wanted to do was to <coughs> get better. Tell me what I need to do. And uh, we don't want other people to have to endure that.